Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to share with you a tip where you can centralize all your assets in a single target. Alright, so let's assume you're working on a project that has multiple developers and multiple developers are, uh, you know, committing code to different parts of the app, maybe in different projects within the same workspace or even different targets. Alright, so one of the problems uh, which is uh, common is that you, you tend to have um, duplicate uh, images in different targets because every target would have its own uh, XC assets and then you know uh, uh, chances are you'll get your Figma files from your designers and sometimes those designers have images that are common within uh, different teams all right so what this tutorial aims to do is to show you how you can centralize all those assets in a single place to avoid duplication all right so let me show you a very simple example I have this project called some demo app and as you can see here there are two targets some demo app Okay, uh, this is the main target as well as a framework here called Asset Kit. All right, so this is something that I've created. And then within Asset Kit, we have uh, this uh, media XC assets. And inside, I have three images here. I have GitHub, Pinterest, and Tesla. All right, so these are just icons. And I want to make these images uh, available to the main target, which is this guy over here. All right, so as you can see, I already have done that already. So let me just run this and let me show you the view controller. So as you can see here uh, inside the uh, view controller, this is inside the main target, some demo app. And then we import asset kit, which is this framework that I've created. I have uh, an image view that I've laid out in the middle and I'm able to get the images from asset kit itself. So as you can see, uh, image view dot image equals to asset kit image provider dot github dot image. So obviously, you know, I, I'm making this, I'm making this very dynamic such that when I hit the dot button, I'm able to get maybe Tesla dot image as well. So let's run this. And then you see that uh, we will have the Tesla image uh, being shown on inside the image uh, view. So um, this uh, asset kit can also be accessible by different targets. Okay, so the whole idea is we have one target just to contain all the assets. It could be JSON files, it could be mock classes, whatever. All right, the principle is to have everything inside this uh, this framework in, uh, instead. Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can do that. And uh, before that, uh, I'm use I'm using the Swift Gen library to um, to generate the uh, assets such that you know you can access the image this way instead of you know specifying the name uh, initializing the ui image okay so as you can see over here i have swift gen inside i have this uh, template here i'm going to show you how you can configure that uh, i have this uh, generated file so this is uh, where you get the uh, asset kit image provider from so you notice that this is a public enum meaning to say it's accessible outside of this uh, target and then you see we have github pinterest tesla that's uh, available for public use you see public static over here all right so without further ado i'm going to show you how you can do that and i've kind of prepared a uh, a blank project over here so this is uh so the first one is some demo app this is some demo app too so this is uh just uh the, the basically the starting code okay so let me just run this first i'm gonna bring this out of the way so uh, i'm gonna use that for reference so right now what do we have this is um, just a blank project without the the new target i'm gonna show you how you can add that inside so let's expand this it's nothing more than just a view controller which has an image view that uh, that's just placed in the middle of the view controller all right so the first thing you want to do is that you want to install swift gen so just pop over to this um to this uh, url you can read about them i've made a video about them as well so i'll probably leave a link somewhere at the top if you want to see how i did that in my first video okay so uh what the way the way to install this uh there are several ways uh, i used homebrew so i think um if you use homebrew to install this it should be pretty simple and uh, your experience will be similar to how i structure the project all right so feel free to check it out how you can do it this way i think uh you just go to terminal and just type in these commands you'll get it done in no time okay so i trust that you're able to do that all right so the first thing we want to do is um, we want to add a new add a new target okay so i'm going to hit the plus button over here and then I'm going to filter for framework. So let's ensure that we are on iOS. Let's do framework. So we're going to create a framework and then um, I'm just going to call this asset kit. Okay, you can call this whatever you want. So asset kit. And I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to check this and uh, embed in application. So basically, um, if I uh, hit none, uh, this new asset kit will not be integrated into my Sum Demo app too. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, just select this one so that's easy for me. So just, just hit the finish button. So what happens right now is that when you come to the view controller, you notice that you can do import 
I said kit and the reason is because of what uh, we selected just now okay so if you come over to the target some demo app we have asset kit inside here under the frameworks library and embedded content if you come to build phases i believe we have that here as well and the reason is because of what we selected earlier all right so now what we want to do is we want to create some kind of um uh, some kind of XE assets so again let's call this assets and then uh, asset catalog okay so over here it's media all right so let's just use the default name media and then uh, maybe i'm just gonna uh, throw in a couple of uh, images here so maybe i have this ones over here so maybe let's bring in github pinterest and tesla okay so the next thing we want to do is that we want to um, use swift gen to create those struts for us to be accessible to the outside world okay so i'm going to open up my terminal and you can only do this if um, you have a swift gen already installed so i'm just going to uh, cd into this uh, folder so cd asset kit okay and then the first thing i want to do is a uh, swift gen uh, Swift Gen, I think is init. Okay, so let's do it this way. So what the Swift Gen init does is that it's gonna create a YML file. So you can think of this as a, like a settings file uh, to specify, you know, uh, where to get the assets from and what is the strut to generate. Okay, so as you can see, Swift Gen does a couple of things over here: uh, generate constants for your localized strings, generate constants for your asset catalogs. Uh, generate constants for your storyboards and zip all right so uh, i don't think we need any of this so i'm just gonna kill all of this um this one as well we don't need the strings one actually uh, what we really need is just this piece over here okay so these are all comments which you can actually just remove this as well and uh, you can go ahead to just uncomment this if you want to all right so it, it comes with a couple of um uh, this this template over here so the input specifies uh, where is the xc uh, what, what is the xc assets name so obviously we don't have main we don't have pro features but we do have media so uh, we have to rename this to media okay so let's remove this okay so for the output uh swift 5 this is uh, the template name so you we have swift 4 swift 5 you can create a, an own your own custom template name as well but template basically refers to how uh it's basically a settings of how swift gen will generate your uh your 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 constants and your edam files okay so we're gonna leave this as such okay in fact i've kind of prepared a one already so i'm just going to use this one over here so media uh xc assets template swift 5 parameters uh, I, i'm gonna set the public access to be true so that the assets is available to uh, the classes uh, or the targets outside of the asset kit and then i'm going to specify an enum name as well so this um, basically is to customize the enum name okay so you, you I'll, I'll explain this a little bit more later okay so i'm just going to copy this and then just paste this over here hit the save button and then what I'm going to do is to come back to uh, the terminal and then I'm going to type in Swift Gen. All right. So what this does is that it's going to create a, uh, a generated file for me. So let me just hit the, en uh, the enter button. So you notice over here it says file written XC assets plus generated dot Swift. So let's see what's inside over here. So I'm going to do open dot. It opens the finder. And you notice that this is inside the asset kit folder. I have the Swift Gen dot YML file which I think I'll just uh, put it inside over here. Um, copy items if needed, that's fine. And then also I have this thing called xcsets plus generated uh, dot swift. All right, so I'm gonna copy that here as well. All right, so if you remember, uh, let me just bring in the Swift Gen file over here. Uh, this is the output. So I specify the file name. If I want to change this, obviously I can change this over here. Uh, over here, you notice that the enum name, I specify that to be uh, asset kit image provider. And that's the reason why if you come over to this generated file, we have this public enum asset kit image provider. So obviously if I change this to maybe, uh, let's say one, two, three, let me save it. Let's come over here and do Swift Gen one more time. You notice that this file would be changed, I believe. Is it changed? Let me have a look. Is it changed? Oh, it's not. Why is it not changed? Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> the reason is because this um, template is actually not inside my uh, inside this app. I made a mistake, guys. Sorry for wasting one minute of your time. So let me come back over here again. <laughs> let me just change it over here. So if I do one, two, three over here, this is going to definitely change swift gen one two three let's come over here all right so notice that this change over here so let me just bring it back to 
the original one and then let's do swift gen one more time okay so uh, it's going to revert back to the uh the original name over here okay so what's going to happen right now is that i can come back to my uh some demo app the first one over here and i can start to access those uh, things inside here so i can do image view uh, dot image equals to asset kit uh is it called uh, image provider yeah dot so tesla dot image and i can just run this and you will see that um it's going to show up inside uh, my simulator. All right. So let me just close all this. All right. So we have Tesla over here. So again, uh, this is extremely uh, useful uh, if you are uh, creating uh, several targets and you want to share all your assets. So you can just dump everything inside over here and all the different targets uh, is able to use that. All right. So I know that um, you every time you add a new file you have to type in swiftgen to update this xcsets.generated file so for example if i am to uh, maybe just come to media one more time and maybe just hit the just remove the tesla itself uh, let me just run the project um, you realize that inside xc.generated uh, this tesla image is not being removed and and therefore it fails so what you need to do is that you have to come back here again and just do swiftgen to update this so that the generated file is updated so you notice right now if i come to the generated file uh, we will not see the tesla anymore all right so let's come back to the view uh to the view controller so tesla it's uh, will be missing all right there's a way for you to generate that uh automatically and that is by coming to um a set kit and then adding some um new face a uh, new front script face over here so you can do it this way so um swift gen there are some instructions online but i find that it's sometimes working for me and sometimes not working for me so i i don't really want to advise you how to do that but uh if i look at my original project over here um it's 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 working and uh, these are some of the settings that i've used so i think you need to research this for yourself this is what i found and uh, obviously um this uh, i'll just upload this uh, working project online you can try to reverse engineer to see um how how this is working so basically uh, let me just kill this and show it to you what i mean by that okay so if you see over here this is the initial project that i showed to you that is working so um let's come to media over here i'm going to remove everything except um except github all right so you, if you see over here inside xcsets.generated we still have those three references over here but when i hit the play button uh, it's going to build rebuild asset kit and it's going to remove those references inside over here as well so you notice uh, the the two images here uh the, the 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 tesla as well as the pinterest is gone except for the github all right so uh again i can't really advise this because it, it was sometimes working for me and sometimes not so i'm just again gonna leave this project for you to kind of discover for yourself and also you can also look at uh, the script that i have over here you can see if this is working for you if not you might have to do a little bit of googling all right that's all i have for you in this video i hope that this is something that's beneficial if you're working with a big team and i'll see you in the next video up to then see you and cheers goodbye